Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a move that works really well, gi, no gi, um, in a self-defense situation, in a cage fight. It's a, basically a seat belt from guard that can also be turned into a choke when our opponent's posture is low. Most of our opponents aren't just going to give us that position, but off a couple uh, different sweep and attack attempts, um, I usually can find my opponent's head and arm in this position to work a submission. So again, uh, this position is going to take place in guard. I can use it as a position of control, especially in a fight if this guy was punching me, I wanted to control his posture. But I can also turn it into a choke if the guy is comfortable sitting in that position and waits there long enough. So what the, what the move looks like first is when this, uh, my opponent's posture is low, we're going to talk about how to get there. I'm going to usually have to open my guard, control this arm a little bit, extend it, get it off my hip. From this position, I'm going to shrimp a little bit to create space, I'm going to bring my knee up. From this position, I'm going to reach my arm across the body so that I can get my armpit on his neck. I'm going to reach under the leg, clasping my hands in a gable grip. I'm going to crunch to the side and I'm going to get the tap. It builds pretty slow. I'm not wasting a lot of energy holding this. I'm just putting a steady squeeze on it. So again, I can open, shrimp to the side. I'm going to come up. Now this could just be a seat belt position. If I break his posture, I can kind of hang out here. But if I want to put a squeeze on him, I'm going to put my hand here, gable grip, I'm going to side crunch, and I'm going to get the tap. So again, that first setup you saw was if he's playing in my armpits, let's say, he's playing low, I'm having trouble, I can't open to get anything, I might be able to free this arm, get it under, pull it up. But what a lot of times this will happen is if I really open to sit up for a hip bump attempt, and I want that hip bump, maybe I'm looking for a Kimura on the side, but if I go for that hip bump and he drives me down, I can fall into that position. Now he's really stuck. Okay, so there in that position, what I instinctually did, instead of doing palm to palm, is I just grabbed all my fingers, like that, works pretty good. Um, so again, it is a submission when he sits there. A lot of times I could just use it as a seat belt again. If this was a fight and this guy was punching, right, I would want to try to do my best to keep his posture down. So I can use it as a position of control. During this, if I'm just controlling him, if this was a fight, I can work the ribs and the kidneys. That doesn't feel too good. Then I can isolate this arm. I can open it up here. Again, he can't control his posture. I'm holding him down. If I do a good job controlling his wrists, from there I can maybe go for a Kimura. A lot of different options. So seatbelt control in kind of a self-defense position or just in jiu-jitsu if you want to take a little bit of rest. But if that guy is comfortable sitting there, you can turn this into a very powerful submission. You gotta build the squeeze really slow, and you gotta be in a pretty good position. Um, but it will build, it will choke him, and uh, it'll work pretty good. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And as always, please find me on social media at Ben underscore Egley. Feel free to tag me anytime you try one of my moves.